I'd like to tell you about making forms and how to make Google Forms with Google. This is Google, and there are different ways to get to Google Forms, but one way is to click on here, and you can find Forms here. You can go to Drive and add in Drive. You've got Docs here, which is a bit like Microsoft Word. You've got Sheets, which is a bit like Excel, and you have Slides, which is a bit like PowerPoint. And Forms is Forms. So if we go into Forms, we have uh, two options. We have several options for making a new form. Uh, these ones, uh, don't worry so much about these ones. Let's look at the basic one. There's a blank one and a blank quiz. Um, I can show you the quiz a bit later, but the blank form looks something like this. And we get the title at the top. So, for example, let's make a reading survey. And we can then ask questions. So let's start by asking, do you like reading, for example? And then we can just put yes or no. So that's the first question. And we can add different kinds of question. Uh, this is a multiple choice question. You can add a short answer where they will give one or two words. You can add a paragraph where they can write a longer answer. Uh, there's multiple choice checkboxes. The difference between multiple choice and checkboxes is checkboxes they can write several different questions. So, for example, another question you may ask is um, what kinds of stories do you like? For example, you could ask a question like this, and the answers may be um, a mystery, horror, fantasy, science fiction, romance. Um, and if we make this into a, a checkbox, that means that they can select more than one answer. So some questions, it's possible to have more than one correct answer. Some are just multiple choice where if it's a multiple choice, we probably want to ask not what kinds of stories, we want to probably ask which kind, not kinds, which kind of story, not stories, uh, which kind of story do you like best? And then we're forcing them to give us one answer, which we may want to do. Um, so we can give, um, can give other answers. Another thing that we may want to do with a form is we may want to, depending on what they give as an answer to the first question, we may want to give them a different second question. Uh, so to do this, we need to make a section, which is this one here. And um, like reading, and maybe make another section. Uh, don't like reading. Uh, and then what we can do with this first question is we can turn this, um, if you click on here, down here, we've got the three dots for more, and we can go to section based on answer. So here we get these options here. So yes, we can choose, go to section two, like reading, and no, we can go to section three, don't like reading. So this will then, if we say yes, it'll take us to this question here. Um, if we say no, it will take us to this question. Uh, we can just put some kind of text here. Oh dear. Um, and if you are doing this multiple path for the questions, then you can, you should probably, um, if they go to the first question, after this section, you need to make sure they go, you can choose where they go at the end of the section. So if they, this is for people who like reading, you probably don't want them to answer these questions. Um, so that's the simple um, how to make the questions. You can make lots of questions in many ways. When you have, um, when they're ready or when you think they're ready or any time just to see what it looks like, you can click on preview. 
and this will show you what the quiz looks like. Uh, so you can choose one of these and then submit. We'll finish the story. Uh, when it's ready, uh, you can click on send and it's probably best to go to the link. Um, it's best usually to shorten the URL and then we can copy this and we can put this into eAlps. Another thing that you want to do is to collaborate. So you should work together on the survey questions. And to do this, you need to share the you need to share the form somehow. Now, in order to share the form, you need to go to your folder. So if we move it to a folder, uh, let's just put it into my drive. Or in fact, I'm going to make a folder. Let's make the folder called um, let's make a folder called survey. So we've created a, a folder called survey, and let's move it here. So it's now in my drive survey. It's now in the survey folder. So if we go to the survey folder, let's go to the survey folder. And what we can do now is we want some help from our partner with this form. So what you need to do is go into here and go to share. And you can now share this. So at the moment, it's only you can do this. We can add editors. So if you put um, my partner at shinshu.ac. JP. If you put your partner's email address in here, you can then share with your partner. Um, and now your partner can edit. It's important to remember that there are two different links to this form. One of them is the form to this page, which you can edit. And this you can get from here. The other one is the when you're going to share it, which you need to go to send. And this is from here. So this is the link uh, from this link. Let's just try this link and see what it looks like. Um, this link will take us to the form with the questions that people can answer. So this is the link that you want to send to other people to answer your survey later. That's all for now. Good luck.